The following is a presentation of TFNN. The Power Trading Hour with your host, David White. Call now, toll free at 1-877-927-6648 or internationally at 727-873-7618. Now, David White. And back. Why can't I hear? There we are. Uh, and welcome to another excellent edition of the Power Trading Hour with me, your host. And as always, it doesn't matter, matter where me is or you is as long as you and me are here at the appointed time. Ah! Yeah. I don't know why. All this stuff keeps get, getting uh, reset, but it certainly does. Um, yeah, I know. Everybody there. Anyway, the time. And I know I'm a little bit blue today, so we're going to fix that uh, in the settings right now. Eh, you never know when you're going to. Get everything reset. Uh, come on, Mr. White Balance. There we go. Anyway, 877-927-6648 as we've made our way through uh, the uh, issues so far today. Uh, you can email me at path at tfnn.com. But uh, let's just get into the sit rep today. We've got a reversal um, and we talked about the reasons for it yesterday. Uh, so far, all I'm seeing is the same pattern that we have almost every options. Uh, I mean, not at options, but every um, uh, window dressing. And that is, if you go back, just look in the charts, go back and look at a couple of days before window dressing. And guess what? There's always a, a, a plop down. Now, could it be more than that? It certainly could. But we talked about that yesterday. I wrote about it in the newsletter this morning. And that is before window dressing, they generally shake the weak hands out. So could it be both? Yes, but I'm not a uh, big fan. Now, I did uh, take the long position where we had some decent money in it in the uh, uh, Tech Insider and got out of it about uh, 10 o'clock this morning. We also went ahead and bought the... Uh, uh, spy uh, three uh, the 390 uh, puts and most everybody from the emails I'm getting from subscribers should have gotten in to those around two dollars or less uh, and of course uh, they're printing more than seven bucks today so in a, for a long time one of the biggest days we've ever had in the newsletter uh, so well, uh, we'll continue to look at that. I am both an equal, uh, equal opportunity, long and short position uh, person. Uh, if you are stuck on one side or the other, I think uh, you're missing the boat. And that is, if you want to be short, you're probably long term going to be right. But you better be able to go to the top of a mountain and ignore everything because you're going to have 100 times where it's going to have a big bounce like we had over the last few days and weeks and months. Um, you just get them, and they tend to be very sharp, and everybody thinks that uh, everything is over, and that's, uh, that's uh, not it. So, you know, the problem I have is that everybody wants to short, and they short, and they short, and get stopped out and get stopped out and st stopped out instead of waiting for some kind of signal to reshort or just to walk away, quit talking to anybody and just stay short. Sit on your hands, forget, turn off the screens and walk away because that's the only way I think you're not going to throw all that money that you do make being short away. Um, anyway, path at tfnn.com so you can always check that out. We've got some emails already coming in. Uh, but uh, that's kind of it at the moment. So do we know whether or not this is just the standard uh, pop down before fund buying? Well, I would say that at least for me, I don't 
I, I don't have any evidence other than it being that right now. We forecast it. We did it in the newsletter at 9 o'clock. We had an update at 10. We went short. I don't know. I mean, this as far as uh, what I'm seeing is some of the most predictable kind of action in the market uh, for the patterns that I like to trade. Now, maybe you're trading other patterns at other time frames, and maybe uh, you will pick up some that I miss, and I'll miss some that you pick up. But uh, for the most part, um, I like to have these huge uh, returns, and especially in volatile markets and bear markets, uh, if you can go out and buy uh, puts uh, that are, I, I'm going to say, almost risk-free. There's nothing risk-free in the market. But this morning was uh, risk-free. That's it. Now, one of the reasons that are a couple of the reasons I talked about in my newsletter this morning uh, to be wary was a very low trend number in the uh, in the Amex. Now, the as we've talked before, and we'll probably repeat very often, part of that is that they are mostly the longer uh, term, um, or uh, let me put it, not longer term. They've been around longer ETFs, and they're not a lot of the doubles and triples, and they tend to be mostly long. And, you know, there's, what, 250 or 300 or so stocks on the Amex. Most of them have moved off, but the ETFs continue to uh, to trade there. And it's a, probably for the trend and the tick, I love that one the best because it's very tough to uh, jigger around and uh, looks fairly yeah, it looks fairly consistent. But uh, trading the extremes of that is one thing. Uh, we also put out that the put call ratio on the VIX was extremely low. And before any of this happened, said to watch out for uh, some uh, severe air, uh, clear air turbulence. That's what they call air pockets if you're a airline transport pilot. Uh, and, and why they tell you to keep your uh, seatbelt on and that is uh, they may know something's out there. You can't see it. There aren't any clouds. Uh, there isn't any lightning. It just kind of comes out of the blue. But, you know, they can kind of predict it with what they have now or know that it's out there. Uh, but uh, you may have some bumps and, and turns. But uh, just out of the blue kinds of stuff like happened today for a lot of folks who didn't see it coming. Did I know 100 percent that it was coming? No. I thought it was uh, anything that I think 100% is probably wrong. 80%, I tend to see a great deal more. So, um, uh, let's see. Uh, okay. Got a few emails in here, so I'm just going through, see if there's anything. Okay. Um, the Apple doesn't far, uh, uh, fall far from Qualcomm. Um, of course, on any bad day, there's always some stocks that do well. So let's go ahead and pop this up. Uh, it's another thing that we've talked about for a long time. Now, going up great. We'll be back in inflation, where your purchasing power is eroded, there's no better place to protect your hard-earned money than in gold. Mr. Gold's flagship asset is the Mount Todd Gold Project in the Northern Territory of Australia. This is Australia's largest undeveloped gold project. We're talking a world-class gold project in a Tier 1 mining district. This is a large-scale, low-cost project with significant existing infrastructure in a politically safe and friendly mining jurisdiction. Vista Gold just completed the Mount Todd Feasibility Study, which resulted in a 7 million ounce gold reserve in a 16 year mine life. All of this combined with the approvals of all major operational as well as environmental permits. This distinguishes Mount Todd as an attractive, de-risk partner, ready development stage gold project. Vista Gold trades on the New York Stock Exchange under the symbol VGZ.
Are you grinding in the market, but seeing little to no return? Or are you a successful trader, simply looking to make your job a little easier? Learn to take the path of least resistance with David White's powerful trading newsletter. David White is an accomplished trader whose deep understanding of technology and the markets allows him to consistently find and share winning trades. Support and resistance define the ranges in which stocks trade. By understanding these trading ranges, David White is able to find the path of least resistance. David White's trading newsletter, The Path of Least Resistance, is delivered daily before the markets open to make every trading day an easy win. Visit TFNN.com today and subscribe to David White's Ultimate Trading Newsletter for $119 a month. And try all of our newsletters risk-free with our 30-day money-back guarantee. Take the path of least resistance at TFNN, educating investors. Are you looking for a way to consistently add winning trades to your portfolio? Tom O'Brien is here to help. Tom O'Brien has been successfully trading markets for over 30 years. A frequent contributor to TD Ameritrade Network and CNBC, Tom O'Brien founded TFNN over 20 years ago to help educate investors just like you. Tom's daily market newsletter, Market Insights, is published every morning when the markets open to give you the competitive informational edge you need to succeed. These newsletters are packed full of Tom's advanced technical analysis and are geared to deliver comprehensive strategies for a successful portfolio. Get Tom O'Brien's newsletter, Market Insights, today and try all of our products and newsletters 30 days risk-free with our money-back guarantee at TFNN.com. TFNN, educating investors. Now, toll free at 1 877 927 6648. Internationally at 727 873 We're back here. Uh, we continue to kind of uh, come out. Uh, let's see. We've got some more emails here. Okay. Uh, Pete says, your market timing has been pretty good. Uh, do you think we peaked today or do you think we have more one more push higher into the fourth? I Like I said, I don't think that there's a whole lot in here that tells me that this isn't the standard pattern of washing everybody out before they push it back higher. Now, could we get some kind of technical signal today that says uh, that, that there's a lot more to this? I would think that it would be in the volume, and we've got about 7.4 billion shares now. So is it good? Yes. Is it blowout? No. Um, so, again, uh, you know, we've got to see uh, kind of a market that is uh, – it, it, you know, you can look at it half uh, half full or half empty. I am short. I'm not long anything. We got out this morning by the hair of our chinny chin chins in the long term newsletter, and in the short term we went uh, and put, uh, as they say, when it's raining money, put out some buckets, and we did that in the spies. I'll be out probably uh, with those puts today by the end of the day. But generally, you have about 24 hours or maybe a little bit longer if this is just uh, a washout. But I was looking for something around where we're at now, 3820-ish, uh, 3825-ish uh, for the low side before we started heading higher into uh, fund buying. And weirder things have happened. Now, could, this, could we do nothing and not bounce? We could, but my guess is we're probably seeing a lot of folks get out of positions going into a three-day weekend. That fund buying will probably be when we come back on Tuesday. So am I going to want to get in front of this uh, a great deal and expect we're going to have a big bounce? Maybe in some short positions, but not in a whole lot. Anyway, we're talking about Qualcomm and Apple. Um, we've talked a great deal about Qualcomm being in the black arts and in uh, electrical design, this has a great deal uh, to do about, um, 
stuff that you just can't put calipers around. It's a lot of feeling. Uh, it's a lot of intuition. And whether it's, uh, I, I kind of think of two big examples in the past, and that was uh, trying to uh, go past the speed of sound uh, with an airplane and uh, Dale Earnhardt, who was really good at restrictor plate races at uh, Daytona 500 and Talladega. Um, they said Dale could see the wind and really understood how to use it and, and everything else. And of course, um, a lot of the people, when they were trying to go supersonic, uh, they started to kind of understand it, but uh, they had to break a lot of the thinking that they had before, and some of it didn't make sense. And when you get to Qualcomm, they are in that part of electronics that's not digital. They are in radio frequencies, and just a lot of stuff does not work at all like people think. Um but uh, that's kind of it. Um, anyway, I'm expecting a great deal more than we've got today. No, you still have a downtrend in a bear market. Uh, that downtrend, if you just drove a, uh, drew a line from the high back here at 191 on February 3rd uh, down to today's high, shows that you're probably just coming up to a downtrend line. But uh, again, um, this is a company I'd probably more want to be long than short when we find a bottom. Uh, there are a lot of stocks that are just horrible. And generally, you want to short the weak and go long the strong. And uh, Qualcomm is not uh, the weakest out there. Okay. So we got that handled. Uh, do I think Visa will take out its highs? Um By 7.15. Okay. It's hard to say. Oh, this is wrong. Let me do that so I get the, get the title correct. Okay, you've got what amounts to a little bit of a reversal signal. Uh, you could get back down to 195. Uh, hard to get uh, very bearish on anything that makes money on higher interest rates, as Visa and MasterCard will. But, uh, you know, throw the baby out with the bathwater. The problem is I wouldn't want to be long any of these until I look at options uh, probably the first couple of days of next week. Um, so there's that. Because we could either go sideways, we could go a little lower. But uh, I'd rather see Tuesday morning come back in and be maybe long this than be long it in the next three days. A lot of risk, not a lot of reward. You've got something that looks like kind of a little bit of a reversal pattern. There isn't much volume today, though, 2.4 million shares compared to the 7.7 million shares up just two days ago. Uh, like I said, I think that there are probably better shorts out here. Um, he's got the 210 calls. Um, the big problem is just how much are you going to burn up in premiums in the meantime. I'd rather probably, uh, like I said, I bought puts today, but I'm getting out of them before the end of the day and cash in the register. Um, more than likely, I would say, or there's a better preponderance of evidence saying that maybe we just go sideways or a little higher and the real money comes in Tuesday for fund buying. It's not coming in today. And we've seen this pattern before. So nothing new there. Okay, 877-927-6648. Okay. Uh, Prime Day deals are leaked. Well, they shouldn't do that. They should be sealed. Okay, what else do we have here? Okay, now, so that gets me to that. Was there anything else on my list of stuff? Uh, Nike uh, out here. Uh, one of the reasons I kind of decided to pull the trigger, too, uh, was watching Nike. Uh, uh, and watching the uh, um, the uh, roasting of uh, people that were short this early in the morning. And uh, to, 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 can I find it now? Do I have it here? To, to, to. Uh, I just can't remember where everything is. Uh, to, 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 
Uh, anyway, um, you're back down. Um, options showed about uh, 105 to 110 going into earnings last night. So I was kind of surprised that they ran all the sh uh, the uh, shorts out this morning. Uh, but uh, one of the reasons was when I saw all that and it started to fade very quickly uh, is when I started to really change my tune and figure that this was a trap. Well, you're back down to 102. 95 for the low of the day and you got a ton of volume so watch out um energy was a little bit more on the way back down from 123.82 um i wasn't a big fan of trying to play this overnight uh but it seems like there's more uh, pain coming their way we'll be back in a minute If you want to take advantage of this sector, now is the time to subscribe to my Gold Report. The Gold Report is a comprehensive look at the metal sector as well as the markets that move gold, which is the currency and bond markets. New subscribers get a 30-day money-back guarantee, so you have nothing to lose. Every Monday morning, I publish the Gold Report with coverage of gold, silver, bonds, the XAU, HUI, GDX, as well as more than 30 different mining equities. To see for yourself the types of profitable trades that are recommended within the Gold Report, sign up now by visiting TFNN.com. Don't miss out on the next great gold trade. Sign up today. TFNN has just launched their new trading room, The Tiger's Den. Hosted at Discord, TFNN has been educating traders for more than 20 years with live programming hosted by a variety of professional traders during market hours. And now they are expanding their reach with The Tiger's Den. Available to all tigers and tigresses for just $1 for the year. There's no catch or added costs when you join our community of traders. In The Tiger's Den, you can look over the shoulders of Tom O'Brien and the other TFNN hosts while they analyze charts during their live Tiger TV programs and join an interactive trading community with hundreds of members exchanging ideas. Interact with other Tigers and Tigresses as they share trading ideas, news analysis, and discuss the market action all trading day, even at night and on the weekends. The Tigers Den at Discord is accessible on mobile or tablets as well, so it's always at your reach. To sign up today and become a part of this educational community of traders, just visit the front page of TFM. .com. TFNN is excited about our new software charting program, The Art of Timing the Trade Charts. In collaboration with Tom O'Brien and using his best-selling book, The Art of Timing the Trade, Your Ultimate Trading Mastery System, David White has programmed an outstanding piece of software that will complement any trader's methodology. Using this first-of-its-kind program, The Art of Timing the Trade Charts allows you to scan thousands of stocks for Fibonacci formation setups, including Gartley's, ABC's, Butterflies, and much more. The Art of Timing the Trade Charts is designed to help you when scouring the markets for stocks just beginning to form the trading patterns that many investors spend days, weeks, or even months searching to find. And right now, we're offering licenses available at only $79 a month. We are so confident that you're going to love this new charting software that we'll even give you a 30-day unconditional money-back guarantee. Don't miss out on this incredible new piece of software. Get your copy of The Art of Timing the Trade Charts today by visiting TFNN.com. This segment is brought to you by Think or Swim. For more information, just click the Think or Swim banner on the front page of TFNN.com. As we return to question in the den, would I buy VIX calls? And the answer is, I don't think so. Again, um, maybe something happening I don't see, but all that's happening is exactly what I thought was going to happen, which we were going to come down to some point that was fairly close uh, to the lows in the 3,800s. We got a little bit too much too fast. And uh, if the volume shrinks, we see... Uh, some support, then, uh, you know, the, then maybe we have an opportunity to buy some stuff for fun buying next week. Maybe the whole thing blows up. But uh, as I say many times, I don't have to know that. If I drive like um, I'm in fog, then I won't out drive, uh, drive my headlights or my vision. And right now, I don't have to make a decision. Uh, but uh, most of these 
kind of episodes that happen right before fund buying, where they wash out all the weak hands right before uh, the markets roll much higher. Um, and I still suspect that there's a good chance of hitting 4000 on the SP cash before we uh, head back down uh, even lower. Uh, but, uh, you know, right now I'm short, making money. I'll be flat by the end of the day. Uh, taking some of the biggest profits uh, in a long time that we've had uh, that weren't on options expiration day uh, for uh, being able to buy something on a Tuesday and seeing it go from two bucks to uh, the mid sevens uh, in a day or mid eights now, excuse me. Um, and yes, I'm slowly selling into all of this as it goes by. But I'll be out before the end of the day and we'll see what happens tomorrow. But uh, seven and a half billion shares, uh, not a blowout so far. Maybe we'll have a lot more volume that comes in. But uh, I just suspect we're probably going to hit some kind of low in the next 24 hours. Uh, that's probably uh, a low. It may be viable. It may not be. And we may just kind of go sideways with everybody selling everything and headed to the Hamptons for the week. But uh I will go spill my uh, uh, go sell my ill-gotten gains somewhere else. Eight seven seven nine two seven six six four eight. Question about Micron. Um, still the head of the pack. Um, again, like a lot of these, you want to see the high volume lows retested. In this case, uh, the June seventeenth low. Um, there's a lot of reasons that I wrote about in the Tech Insider on Friday that I think uh, both memory and video card companies are, uh, are why I wouldn't buy them now, right at the moment, um, long term have uh, some good profit potential going forward. Now, does that mean that just because I like the business, I'm buying the stock? The answer is no. But if I like the business and I can get the right price, that's where those two things line up. Um, but uh, high volume lows get retested. And so you're looking at 5360 one more time. You've had a nice little bounce. You got up pretty close to this double gap uh, right at about 6150-ish. Um, and uh, that goes from a long existing gap uh, before the 10th of June. And then that gap down, that gapped over that existing gap down, then you have yet another double gap here where you're sitting on it right now. But uh, to be long, I'd want it to get back into this candle. And what was the high of that candle? Uh, high 56.32. So you need, I want it to get back into that candle. Do so with a whole lot less volume than 24 million shares, which I don't think in the middle of the summer would be problematic. So there may be a buy back down in there in the 55 uh, air dollar area if it comes back on like 10 million shares or something uh, that may be uh, a place that uh, you can get long for the fall once uh, all the discounts for all the bad news are in for a market eight seven seven nine two seven six six four eight uh get some more emails here uh to two smhs i'll take a look okay um, well, you can even fill this gap about halfway. You're down today. Uh, you wanted something less than 8 million shares. It's not bad. Um, the real uh, yardstick is 8.5 million shares or 8.44 million shares uh, back on the 17th. Uh, you're almost in that with about 3.4, 3.5 million shares. So let's say you end up with 6 million shares today, which would be a fairly decent close against the 8.4 million share low. There may be some kind of buyable low out here soon enough. Maybe it's next week. Uh, again, I'm not a big fan of getting into uh, markets unless I'm looking for short squeezes uh, into a three-day weekend, but there may be some of those. We'll see how that shops up. Okay. 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 Did I miss any other questions about the VIX? I'm going through the DIN. Look through my emails. Don't have anything else. Okay. 
Uh, question about the IBB from Ron. Keep them coming at path at tfnn.com or post them in the den. Um, so on the IBB, you actually had more volume than the previous high. Previous high on June 8th came at 119.64, uh, 3.2 million shares. 4 million shares, One uh, let's call it 1.8 million shares yesterday. You're down on 1 million shares today. Ideally, not a bad day, very light volume so far. We'll see how the end of the day comes in. But, uh, you know, if you got a decent retest, a, re, uh, yeah, a retracement, uh, 114.31 is just a 3.82. It doesn't uh, uh, hurt the bull case on this. You had some very decent volume on the way up compared to the way down. So there's more things saying uh, that uh, biotechs have had lows uh, that don't need to be retested. Uh, you tested the 105 low of May 12th that had 4.7 million shares with 3 million shares. You had a couple of dojis out here, uh, which are either bottoming signs or halfway uh, down signs, and it did rally. So it's giving you some fairly good signals, and you have to look at the glass probably half full. But I'd see 114 on the IBB maybe-ish, uh, 112.40 is a 50% retracement on that bounce, and then that may set up an ABC. But uh, things may get better in that. Uh, when will I have Tim Ward on again? Uh, we'll have him on on Thursday. Uh, I talked to him on Monday. So he's uh, feeling good, and he will be back. Uh, okay. What else do we have here? Uh, yeah, get your questions uh, ready for Tim, and we'll have it on great. Okay, to, to, to uh, question about CCJ. So let's take a look at that. Um, you know, you just had a bounce. Um, I do like this uh, way that this made a low. Uh, as we said before, though, uh, when I am looking at a stock, I want two things. I want the previous, if I want to go long, I want the previous volume to be significantly less. And you had that. What you didn't have was the energy on the way from the top back down to the bottom, uh, less than from the bottom up, or more than the bottom of the way top. So you've got kind of mixed signals, a little more energy on the way down, a uh, lighter volume at the previous low. So you may need a little bit more consolidation. Back Are in you in the market for buying or selling real estate in the Bay Area, including the surrounding St. Petersburg, Tampa, and Clearwater markets? Tiger Real Estate LLC is a firm that has extensive experience in the Tampa Bay Area. Whether you're looking to sell your current property for maximum value, or you're in the market for a second home or investment property, Tiger Realty has the experience across all areas of real estate in the Tampa Bay Area to help buyers and sellers make the most informed decisions across all price levels. From the price you should be paying per square foot in certain up-and-coming areas to the type of cash flow investment properties are capable of creating, Tiger Real Estate can help you make the best decision when it comes to all areas of the market. Before you make one of the biggest decisions of your financial future, call Tiger Real Estate LLC today at 727-329-8322 or email us at tiger at tfnn.com. That's 727-329-8322. Call us today. technology around us is changing every day. With so much happening, it can seem impossible to keep up with all the information. David White's investment newsletter, The Technology Insider, is designed to give you all the information you need to understand the technology that shapes today's markets and tomorrow's future. David White has made his living staying on the cutting edge of technology. His weekly newsletter will give you specific recommendations for value tech stocks, as well as entry prices, target prices, and stops to set for each trade. Dave delivers his weekly newsletters every Friday with updates throughout the week. You can get the Technology Insider at TFNN.com for only $37.50. Sign up for David's newsletter, The Technology Insider, and get an inside look at everything the technology sector has to offer. Try it risk-free today with our 30-day money-back guarantee. TFNN, educating investors. Are China A shares hot or not? 
If you trade China A shares, now may be time to take a closer look. Trade CHAU or CHAD, Directions Daily CSI 300 China A share bull and bear ETFs. China A shares in either direction. Visit directioninvestments.com today. An investor should consider the investment objectives, risks, charges, and expenses of the direction shares carefully before investing. The prospectus and summary prospectus contain this and other information about direction shares. To obtain a prospectus or summary prospectus, please contact direction shares at 866-476-7523. The prospectus or summary prospectus should be read carefully before investing. An investment in the funds is subject to risk, including the possible loss of principal. The funds are designed to be utilized only by sophisticated investors, such as traders and active investors. Distributor Foresight Fund Services, LLC. This program is brought to you by Vista Gold, traded on the NYSE American and TSX under the symbol VGZ. As we come back, I'm getting a update out to subscribers. And, of course, uh, as I type this out, uh, you can think about going and uh, buying some of those Tiger dollars and uh, subscribing to either one of my newsletters. And, of course, uh, you can, uh, you can uh, also uh, get the Art of Timing the Trade Chart, uh, all three of those are available through your Tiger Dollar purchase and a way to make a save a little bit more money on the subscription. Uh, two, two, two. Okay, got that out. Okay, got some more emails. Okay. Hi, David. Can uh, I start buying AMD for a bounce? I looked at it for uh, one of the other dinners uh, today, and options really show uh, about 80 bucks. Um, for a, a fairly decent support. Now, not uncommon. Uh, you had the same energy on the way up than you had on the way down. So you want uh, probably another retest of the lows, which you're getting now. May 12th, $83.27, 130 million shares. You break that by four bucks and get back into the trading range with 105 million shares. Now, today you got about 75 million shares. So you really want that to come in less than about 100 million shares uh, today. And you really don't want it to go beyond that. But uh, options uh, have a fairly good $5 range, or they did at 1 o'clock. Uh, so at least option market makers think that maybe the bulk of uh, the destruction in AMD is over. But that does not mean it's going to bounce right away. It could just kind of go sideways and burn up a lot of premiums on puts. Again, this has been a market where they've taken you to heaven and hell so many times. You are starting to, your head's starting to spin. So what I'm saying is that after this move, we're either going to blow up tomorrow, which I don't believe, or we're probably going to go sideways for a while and then maybe see some overly shorted stocks start to move higher. But the real move in the index is probably on Tuesday when we come back, unless there are a bunch of redemptions. Now, um, people have to buy. If you're a, f a fund manager, you got to buy. And that's the last two days of the month or the first three days of the month. So you can buy uh, the fifth, sixth, and seventh the way the calendar has. Um, but um, you know what? That means that as far as going into this weekend, it, could it be hard to get any kind of bounce? It could, could go lower. So I'm a fan of probably waiting until you see the whites of their eyes, and that may be Friday's close uh, if you're thinking about buying some calls or something. Uh, again, the problem with that is you're going to get three days of burn for your option premiums. So generally what I like to do is come back in that Monday night the, of the 4th. And if you, I don't trade a lot of uh, futures, but that may be one way of doing it. The other way is to wait till uh, Tuesday morning. A lot of times, it'll, you know, after a three-day weekend, it'll just kind of go sideways. 
for a little while, and then you're going to start seeing the money come in about one o'clock for fund buying. But uh, I think a lot of people getting uh, the cart way ahead of the horse, mostly because of the way the three-day weekend and fund buying comes in this time. 877-927-6648. I look forward to your call. Um, uh, anyway, yeah, I think, you know, a $5 range, maybe if you bought calls on the thing, because you're at the low end of 80 bucks. Uh, maybe it bounces to 85 bucks next week, but it's, uh, I don't see anything saying it's going to 110. Uh, of course, uh, options, uh, expiration really starts, um, on, uh, the eighth. So you've got a little bit before you really get back into that cycle and I get a little bit better visit, uh, visibility. Um, okay. I'll get back to that. Okay, we got that. Uh, okay, uh, question about streamers and what do I think of it? Uh, I'm disappointed in Disney. They tend to have some very good numbers for the theme parks, um, subscriptions. I think just because of the horrible job they've done on Star Wars, uh, people like me have uh, canceled their subscriptions. Um, not for any other reasons other than the fact that they made a horrible horrible disaster out of uh, the latest uh, Star Wars venture. And the only one where the executives didn't do anything with it and ignored it, uh, the Mandalorian, is really the only good thing. Everything else is just horrific. I couldn't make it through the, uh, the third um, edition of uh, uh, this latest Star Wars venture. It was horrible. Uh, a lot of the stuff looked just look cheap and bad. The script didn't make any sense. Um, and a lot of the other stuff they have on there just doesn't appeal to me either. So, um, you know, to tell you the truth, uh, Hulu and Paramount have gotten a lot more of my, uh, uh, my interest as of late with, uh, um, uh, the Orville, uh, for sci-fi and, uh, uh, just last night, I only got to watch a little bit of it, uh, but uh, what is it? The murder? What is it called? Steve Martin thing with uh, the murder? Oh, God. I can't even remember the name of it. It's season two of it. I really liked season one. It's uh, doesn't A lot of things don't blow up, and there's not a lot of special effects, but I, maybe somebody in the den knows what I'm talking about. Murder, mystery club murder. Eh, I'll think of it in a minute. Steve Martin, though, how can Steve Martin and uh, Martin Short? How can you, how can you not like those guys? Anyway, it was cute and fun, and uh, they've done fairly well, at least in the first one I saw. Maybe somebody remembers it. Murder mystery. Yeah, anyway, it's on Hulu. Eight seven seven nine two seven six six four eight. Okay. So anyway, um, Netflix. I'll take a quick look in FLX. Um, yeah, I don't see a lot in these streamers. Um, these things going to need, uh, the, probably the good thing is that you do have a high, uh, low volume low in Netflix. It would probably be the stronger of the two between Disney and them. Um, you didn't ever actually pierce the high volume low of May 12th and in a bear market, uh, with lighter volume, sometimes you get a bounce. Uh, but uh, my guess would be that you really want to see in a bear market, you really want to see those lows tested with lighter volume and pierce the low, not just get down there and the volume all dry up. You're probably going to get a bounce in this case, 164 to 192. But does that mean you're out of the woods? Probably not. You want to get back into that candle. You really want to pierce it and uh, go below it and then come back up. A uh, question on my trade yesterday that I didn't stick with, uh, which is wheat. Uh, um, you got a little bounce out here. I still like that uh, uh, the downside is the energy came in, but I, you did get a lighter test out here of that $9.49 low. Got the 9.30 yesterday, 4 million shares compared to just under 7. So maybe there's something uh, out there in the grain. Look back in the Burger and
Vista Gold owns and operates the largest undeveloped gold project in Australia, the Mount Todd Gold Project. Vista Gold just completed their feasibility study, resulting in a 7 million ounce gold reserve. Vista Gold has all major permits approved and has retained CIBC capital market assistance in evaluating alternatives and in completing an accretive transaction. Vista Gold trades on the NYSE American and TSX under the ticker symbol VGZ. Vista Gold, executing a strategy to create shareholder value. You might think that if you want to be successful at trading in the stock market, you're going to need a crystal ball. After all, it's impossible to predict the future, right? Like any endeavor in life, before you decide it's impossible, get some advice from the experts. You might find that it's not so impossible after all. For daily market overviews that give you direction on the key indices, selective stocks, and commodities, subscribe to the opening call newsletter at TFNN.com. The opening call newsletter is written by Basil Chapman, creator of the trading methodology known as the Chapman Wave. The Chapman Wave up-down sequence gives you an edge in identifying price turns, finding the peaks and valleys in stock prices. Get the opening call newsletter by Basil Chapman in your inbox every day. First-time subscribers also get a 30-day money-back guarantee. If you're not satisfied, let us know, and you'll get a full refund within 30 days of signing up. TFNN.com, educating investors. Everything in the universe is governed by the Fibonacci sequence. This mathematical principle is responsible for everything from the most aesthetically pleasing artwork to patterns in the stock market. To stay on top of stock patterns you can take advantage of, sign up for the Fibonacci 24-7 newsletter at TFNN.com. When you subscribe, you'll get a weekly report from veteran day trader Larry Pesavento on stocks you need to pay attention to. And you can trust Larry's analysis. After all, he's got 45 years experience as a day trader. Larry will also provide daily charts, videos, and data on the key markets that he's tracking. Expect notifications from Larry on market movement you need to act on at any time. First-time subscribers also get a 30-day money-back guarantee. If you're not satisfied, let us know and you'll get a full refund within 30 days of signing up. Subscribe to the Fibonacci 24-7 newsletter today. TFNN.com. Educating investors. Catch Tom O'Brien, professional trader and educator, founder of TFNN, also a special guest on CNBC. Tom will bisect and dissect the markets. The Tom O'Brien Show, next on TFNN. And we come back in. Question, have I been to Disneyland in a in, uh, uh, Lately, and I haven't been to it in probably 20, I'm going to say 20 years. I took my nieces and nephews there probably in 2002. That was the last time I was there. I'd gone to it a great deal. Um, our conventions were already in the, always in the Orlando Convention Center, generally in the uh, like early May and June. And so I was down there every year for like 10 years for two weeks, half a week to set up the booth. A uh, trade show half a week to unpack the booth and get it shipped back. And during that time, there was always a lot of time to go do stuff. Uh, stayed in the uh, Peabody right across the street from the convention center there, if you're familiar with Orlando. That's the one where they uh, bring the ducks in in the morning and uh, they waddle all in and they uh, they get to play in the pool all day. And then like at 530, they take the ducks out. That was always uh, uh, one of the nicest hotels and treats that we had every year. But uh, I went to a lot of those things in Orlando, but I really don't have any desire to, to go to them again. But, uh, yeah, I just hear that they're absolutely packed out and the waits for the lines uh, for everyone, including Disney, are huge there. But, uh, yeah, not going. Okay, so uh, what are we getting as we wrap up the day today? Um, let's go ahead and look. Update everything. Uh, two, two, two. Okay. Okay, hit my target. I took uh, all my uh, puts off of the spies we bought this morning. So I'm all cash. I can do anything I want tomorrow. Probably not going to do anything tonight. Um, we got a couple of earnings tonight, but I don't think it's going to matter much uh, as we go into it. But uh, 
Um, you know, we're off 66 points with about 1.7 percent. Uh, Dow's off 405. Nasdaq's off uh, 298. Uh, the volume is good, but not hugely strong. 8.1 billion shares. We did 18 billion uh, on uh, the last options expiration day. So, again, uh, pretty tough to get all wound up one way or the other for me. I'm going to try to stay uh, semi neutral out here, but uh, that's kind of it. Um, anyway, we'll see you tomorrow. Maybe there'll be some more action then. Uh, but that's it. So, when you can, and I did today, out when you have to. We'll see you here tomorrow. Same bat channel, same bat time. Building wealth trading in the stock market seems impossible to most.